Hey, what is up you guys? It's your girl Ray just here and yes, we are back in it with another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and if you're feeling our vibe, subscribe. Well, in today's video, it is going to be a Q&A with like KJ Arda Julia. So the first question is, what embarrasses you the most and or what has been the most embarrassing moment? <sighs> Not that I can really think of something specific that embarrasses me, but like definitely doing something stupid in front of my crush. Yeah, like guys, you can back me up on this one. I do not, like you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of your crush. That is just the cringiest thing that can ever happen. So, yeah. Next question. What's your biggest fear? I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears But I'm scared of being embarrassed by men Honestly speaking, I can bear anything But I do not want to be embarrassed by a flippin' man Please, no Um, the next question is What is your love language? It is definitely words of affirmation Communication, bruv What about physical touch? Nah, dog words of affirmation i always want to be reassured and i realized like yeah you can easily fool me with words bro like i'll take anything Yo. <laughs> next question who was the last person to make you cry and why people don't make me cry i'm responsible for me crying so definitely me i was the reason or yeah i am the reason I am the reason and I don't know man I'm just an overthinker and I think a lot and when things don't go my way I cry about it or when I feel like uh, you know I'm just mean to myself so yeah isn't that normal that's normal don't tell me it's not normal yeah you can't make yourself cry um, next question do you have any regrets if so what are they I can only tell you what out of the million things I definitely regret. Nah. But which one? Yeah. <laughs> which one can I really tell you guys? Um, I definitely regret. But guys, I don't even remember the things that I regret. It's not something that I can keep like thinking about. Like I'm probably over this thing that I regret doing. But I do regret meeting certain people. Yeah. There's certain people I wish I never met. Because now I see things a little bit differently and not in a good way. So yeah, maybe that. Yeah. What's one thing that most people don't know about you? Most people don't know that they don't know. People don't know anything about me, dog. Like, I'm just that nigga, bro. Like, if unless I didn't tell you or unless you didn't see me do it, then you don't know anything, my nigga. Like, nothing. So, what do people not know about me? I have to think about this one. Why do I have to think about what people don't know about me? Maybe I'm thinking about which one I can tell you, which, like, now people can know about me, but, like... What do people not know about me? Okay, I figured it out. One thing that people don't know about me is that I've got multiple personalities, which may mean many things, but just to clarify, it means that I can relate to everybody's situation. So, but people may like misinterpret it as me trying to say I've experienced everything, but low key, I just know how to put myself in your shoes if you get me and re-explain it to you in a better way yeah that's what people don't know about me so you know type five next question i don't know why that took me so long to think about actually like i had to think about what people don't know about me which was going to be useful to you in some sense but anyway you splash next question when have you felt the most proud Definitely right now. I'm super proud of myself for like doing a lot. First of all, I moved out of my comfort zone 
or my comfort area i don't like what this lighting is doing but please what this lighting is doing so please bear with me there's nothing there's absolutely nothing i can do about this lighting but um definitely moving out of my comfort zone and experiencing new things like seeing new people that is super big especially for a person who is always around family so being away from my family definitely means a lot to me because then i get to value them a little bit more and get to see how it feels like living alone and having to make most of your decisions by yourself so yeah man that's it next question do you believe in soulmates 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 excuse me soulmates 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 man those niggas died a long time ago like them niggas have been dead for a while now there is no such thing as soulmates at least according to me those niggas is dead those niggas have been dead for the longest time i i like be serious those niggas have been dead for a while. Please, I do not believe in soulmates. So, if you if you think you're with your soulmate, my my sister, like good luck. I mean, um, all the best, and you know what? I wish you know more years of you know soulmating and success, and you know, bro, I'm not even gonna pretend like those niggas don't exist. They they just don't exist. <laughs> Next question. Um, have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have been bullied. Oh. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> it was definitely during like primary school. I think most of us have had an experience with bullying in primary school. And I was bullied mainly because of my weight. And this girl over here. Yes, Mr. Six-Headed Girl. Like, bro. Yeah, I was definitely bullied because of that and also because of my weight because i grew up in a society where it was just nyash on nyash on nyash and then you get the girl yeah. next but yeah anyway next question and i think this is the last question um if ever would you ever date a guy who is in the entertainment industry i don't think so i i no no i don't know like no 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 I, I i don't think i would i'd rather be their friend or their homie or something else than to be in a relationship with an industry gent bro it never ends well that's my chat and i'm a sucker for love so we don't have the capacity it just wouldn't work knowing that my competition is staring right in my face nah no skip nah yeah but i'm not saying that if you ever find out about me and you find out that i'm dating a guy who is in the industry then now you must now disregard me and say hi this girl is a lie she's a fraud she's a proper liar you know nah but i'm just saying i wouldn't go for but if it happens guys like then it happened mm -mm. i'm speaking for the moment so okay that was it that was 10 questions with kjr the junior and i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment share and if you're feeling our vibe subscribe also don't forget to subscribe to my channel at just ray um and yeah that is the end of the video so 